In today's vlog, I will take you with me on my way back home. I have finished my contract on board the vessel and now I am finally going home after five months of contract. Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog about the seaman's life. Today you will come on my journey back home. I have finally finished my contract on board this vessel. After five months my airplane ticket has arrived. The company has agreed to send a reliever and I am finally going home. This is a bulk carrier of 50,000 dead weight, built 13 years ago. The conditions on board were still okay, but uh, after 5 months I have... I had enough, I was already tired and uh, I want to go home and relax, recharge my batteries and then I'm ready to come back. I was supposed to sign off the next day but uh, I don't know what happened because there was another ship planned to come inside this port for discharging the cargo. They had to kick us out. The problem was that uh, my flight was in about 10 hours from this point. And I could not go with the ship in the anchorage because they did not know when they will come back and I will lose my flight. So since the company already paid for the plane ticket and I'm coming all the way from Guatemala to Romania, that is a, an, a, a very expensive flight, uh, the, the captain decided to call the agent and uh, have a taxi wait for me at the gangway to pick me up. The problem was that they called me half hour in advance. I only had 30 minutes to prepare my luggage and to take a shower. Uh, luckily, I was anticipating such a moment because I have been at sea for 15 years and I know that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes something like this can happen. And I had already prepared my luggage after lunchtime. So now I only had to pick up my laptop and a few things and that was it and now they uh, took me to a nearby city it's called Porto San Jose and they put me in a hotel it is uh, a three-star hotel with a swimming pool but uh, I had no time for that I arrived here at two o'clock in the morning and uh, like I said uh, my flight was the next day and I only had about 5-6 hours to take a shower and rest a little bit. I did not even have time for breakfast because uh, in the morning I had to go to the immigration to pick up my visa to departure from Guatemala back to Europe and you need an exit visa. and. Uh, I was happy with the accommodation, the hotel was fine, this is a tropical area, so of course you need uh, an AC unit and uh, I had uh, a nice warm bed, I had a TV and uh, the shower was clean and it had hot water, that is all you need, this is not a 5 star hotel, this is not in Dubai is not a luxury and anyway the company will not pay something like that for just an electrical officer like me <laughs> now i will show you around a little bit that is my luggage this is the bathroom as you can see it is spacious it is good enough for a few hours even a few days like i said it was uh, also a swimming pool nearby but i had no time for that as you can see i have two beds 
and the room is spacious you have enough space here to relax dance if you want <laughs> I was too tired to have a dance I was even too tired to open the te television I don't know if it was working I just took a shower and then went to sleep this uh, this is enough for me I have been in worse places than this but this was just fine I was very happy with accommodation um, as you can see here this is the fee rate I think it's a decent price for a three-star hotel and uh, you had breakfast included in this price but like I said I did not have time even for breakfast because uh, being so late at night when they picked me up from the vessel they could not take me to the immigration area to pick up my visa and uh, take me to Guatemala City so that is why they had to take me to a nearby city to stay in accommodation to be uh, near the immigration office which was back in the village where they picked me up from that is uh, Puerto Quetzal and uh, as you can imagine there were, there were uh, policemen and armed forces over there so I could not record while I was going at the immigration office I don't want to be shot <laughs> as you can see the AC there is doing his job this is a tropical area and behind that curtain is the swimming pool but of course I am a normal person I am not going at the swimming pool at 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> maybe if I had some people with me I would have the nerve to go there but being that I'm alone uh, I don't see a point in going there and uh, I don't want to bother anybody I don't know maybe some people want to actually take a rest and I don't want to bother them with noise or anything like that so like I was saying the next morning after about five six hours of uh, sleep I was uh, preparing to go to the immigration office and then I will make my way to Guatemala City that's about three hours on the highway this is in the morning I just want to show you a little bit that is the swimming pool you see the guy is already there cleaning and preparing the area for the tourists to come in the morning and uh, I had to pick up my luggage and go to the front desk and wait for my taxi the taxi that was supposed to take me to the immigration office which would be a different taxi from the one that will pick me up to take me to Guatemala City I had a very nice stay here unfortunately I did not have enough time to enjoy the city and go around and room around and uh, now the taxi has already picked me up and we are on our way to Guatemala City I just want to show you a little bit around Porto San Jose this is the town that I am right now and uh, we are making our way slowly but surely to Guatemala City in about four hours from this time I had my flight no five hours five hours because uh, we had about three hours on the highway yeah and I had about two hours from the airport to do the formalities and prepare myself for the long journey back home this is a quiet town I wish I had enough time to room around buy some souvenirs buy some uh, fruits while I was uh, waiting in Anchorage before we came along in the port I had an interaction with the locals they were coming with the speedboats and uh, selling us fruits and uh, soft drinks so I know that I would have had a great time if I had the chance to roam around in the city but that will be an experience that I will save for next time because I am sure that I will 
be in this place in a future time and uh, I will be sure to make another vlog for you guys <laughs> now I have arrived already in the Guatemala City this is the airport and I made my way to a nice souvenir shop to buy some presents for my family and this is the airport just roaming around I had about like I said about two hours to room around uh, take some snacks and just relax when the seafarers are going home they are in relax mode they don't care that they have to wait very long hours in the airport or eat the airplane food which is not so great we don't care about nothing we are happy that we are finally signing off and it is a, a very difficult thing to explain to those that mm, have not been on board the vessel before because we stay on board the vessel five six nine months and uh, it's like a prison you know and then you escape <laughs> you finally go home and now i was uh, waiting for my flight i had a flight going to atlanta in us with uh, delta company that is an american company and uh, i will just wait for a little bit i was uh, glad to be in this place because guatemala is one of those places that is famous for the coffee and of course i had to buy the coffee from this place because you can find it in europe of course but the price will be three times more so why not, why, why not take advantage of this situation and buy the original coffee with a good price? I cannot describe to you how amazing it smells, even with the packaging. <laughs> it, uh, it's great. I, I cannot wait for this to arrive in my coffee cup. <laughs> I will eagerly prepare it as soon as I arrive home. But now I have to wait for my flight and prepare for the long journey. I have been at sea for 15 years already, so I am very used to this uh, situation. When you have to wait for a long time for your flight and to go back home home is the best place where you want to be and it is uh, it was a strange and long journey five months is a long time to be away so they have already prepared the plane and now we are making our way to our seats we are uh, happy there was some delays but luckily it was only 15 minutes so that's that's okay and now after about three hours and a half I have arrived in Atlanta in the US this is one of the largest airports in US I have never been here before and I had about four hours of wait time before my next flight because uh, the company that uh, brought me here is an American company Delta I had to pick up my luggage and make the check-in again because I am supposed to fly in Europe with Air France so whenever you are changing flights and it's different company keep that in mind if you have never traveled before you have to do the check-in again and that means you have to pick up your luggage I have met people before that did not know this and they lost their luggage because they were thinking that somebody will pick it up for them. And look at this beauty, a Porsche Carrera. I, I saw this in, a, in Atlanta airport and I want to show you guys. Maybe if I work two lifetimes I will afford one of these. <laughs> but for the moment I cannot afford it. And uh, even if, uh, if I could afford it, I don't think I would buy it. 
even one small scratch on this will be enough for a heart attack i think <laughs> that is for the rich is not for me of course i bought some souvenirs from this place as well like i said before i have never been in atlanta before so whenever i'm going to a new place i buy souvenirs and now after about nine hours of flight i have arrived in france in paris my next flight to romania was in about six hours and i had enough time to go outside and visit the city but uh, i have been in Paris before many times but the problem here was that I was coming from a tropical area which was hot that is why you are seeing me in t-shirt but outside in Paris it was 10 degrees Celsius and uh, since I have been here before there was no point to go out I don't have any jacket and I will freeze most likely and I will not enjoy my time so I had no problem to stay in the airport. I had a lovely lunch in one of the restaurants in Paris. The French food is always amazing. And uh, even in the airport, it is, it is more expensive than in the city. That is something that uh, we can agree on, but it is worth it. It is very delicious. Everything regarding the French food is to my pleasing <laughs> and I had to take a, one of those trains this train is going to another terminal this is a huge airport that is the reason why you have to take a train between terminals if you ever go to one of those huge airports be very very careful which gate you are scheduled to take your plane from it is very important not to lose your flight and now I have finally arrived in Bucharest in Romania it is about two o'clock in the morning and I am very very tired after traveling for more than one day and a half I could not sleep I cannot sleep in the airport or in the airplane because of the uncomfortable position but finally the voyage is over after five months and now I can start my vacation and that was my journey from the ship back home if you have enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button and maybe you want to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed I will keep posting interesting stuff about the seafarer's life if you have questions I wait for you in the comment section down below thank you very much and have a wonderful day Hope to see you next time on my channel. Goodbye.